Uh, hey, all right, guys, Drift Christian here today, with, and we're back with Umbrella Academy episode three. Yeah, we went in, we went into a bit more about Fives past and what he was up to, and then the government's chasing him at the end, which is all pretty cool. And then just some of the Gilbert characters interacting, and we got a lot of uh, Ellen Page's character with the violin, and then teaching violin lessons to a guy who's probably going to see where that storyline goes. As I'm sure will play quite a big role later on in the show. But other than that, it was a decent, it was a decent episode. I'm enjoying it so far. It's um, a nice take on the superhero, and it's something a bit more refreshing and fun. Um, you can tell some person who wrote this story had a lot of fun with it. But other than that, yeah, we'll just get into the reaction, guys. So feel free to like, subscribe, guys, if you enjoy. I am doing this Stranger Things and Cobra Kai along with the anime se seasonal anime. So if you want to check those out, feel free to. If you want to check those out, subscribe. Let's get into this. Now we're getting it. Is it? So we have five last episode. Is it her turn? We're just going to get a like an episode of each character. Oh, they all read the book. I'm so weird that she's been writing about him the whole time. <laughs> I love how he's punching it. He didn't take it well. <laughs> things with something like writing a book like that, you only get her point of view of things. You don't get the other characters. So people read the book and then they just make assumptions about everyone's life through the book. Which is a bit unfair on everyone else she wrote about. I'm so sorry, Mike. I hadn't noticed. This is where it turns into whiplash and he throws a chair at her like, Turn! You're out of turn! Tempo, tempo! Oh. I don't know where people try and be creative with transition sets. Oh, we yeah, had a videotape. How would you confront that? Because like, imagine just calling her out. Where did you... She doesn't seem right in the head, let's be honest. Is I she... bet there's more to it though. I feel like that'd be, this, is, that, this, is, this is too easy. <laughs> Loki's sadistic. Feel of the day. Now eat up. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Have you been stuck at third chair? At a certain point, it's not about practice. It's whether you've got something special. And maybe you just don't. Ooh, hit it where it hurts, especially with her. Put in your 10,000 hours. Being... Or you can go find something you're actually passionate about and stop slogging away at Stravinsky like a scared 13 year old. <coughs> Mate, savage. <laughs> she just wrecked her. <laughs> I guess if you really had dedication, you surely you would practice like a shit ton. Still there. Yeah. Percent reduction in payment due to job delay. Further reduction every twenty-four hours until job complete. Oh, brutal. That is Jason's box to that pogo will get off. I love how pogo's actual plan worked. His whole like guilt trip was so good last episode. I don't care. <laughs> that didn't, didn't accuse him. Just uh, just planted it there. This one, God. Beautiful. Why? You racist. I'm done. No, I'm not drunk. I'm working. At least he, at least I guess he has That's some scars made. from being trapped this there for so long. The work just all disappeared. Will be made. Fucking Dolores is the best guy to meet. You just have to wait. You might as well come in. How convenient is he? He's just walking in as she shows up. <laughs> I need to be making some profits. Why are you closed? Fucking hell, mate. These are beautiful. Really, I never grew up. Why well, do I feel like they're going to set this character up as a character they're just going to kill off? <laughs> Which one is your favorite? Not someone like that, maybe. Or maybe the duck. Or the other duck. Or the other duck. I insist. Please. I made it for you. <laughs> Gift giving. A statue you carved of them after meeting them once is not mildly creepy at all. <laughs> this is so bizarre. We've known each other for two days. I feel like you know me better than anyone in my family. <laughs> hey. This is my... 
Give the give it to the guy. He doesn't mess about. It's fast. No, I I know. Right. I'd like that. Yeah. Ta victory. Allison? Hey. Just a friend? Friend? No, it's not. Maybe I'm just trying to not separate myself from everything and everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about the little uh, rant she had at her sister. I was angry with Patrick and I... Man's got some, some serious PTSD, hasn't he? Being that big must be really inconvenient. You okay? We're all you have. All family interactions this episode. I don't think that I'm better than you, number one. I am. I know. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. Just like you're doing, Diego. Mate, if no, no, has got the true power, how can you discard it? I feel like he got the top equipment exactly stats on it. Um, <laughs> I do remember one thing he said. Mom was designed to be a caretaker. Just a vacuum cleaner you can throw in a closet. Oh, yeah, she cares about it. Things. I've seen. She just stood there, Diego, and watched our father die. I'm with Luther. Surprise, surprise. Shut up. Pick side, love. Pick a side. I, I yeah, she shouldn't get a vote. Ooh. I was going to say that I agree with you. Okay. She should get a vote. <laughs> what about you, stoner boy? What do you got? Oh, so what? You need my help now? Get out of the van, Klaus. Well, welcome back to the van. What van? <laughs> I'm from behind Klaus. I'm with Diego, because screw you. And if Ben were here, <laughs> he'd agree with me. I love how Ben's just there in spirit. <laughs> oh, poor mom. Well, how do you know? Because Dad only loved himself. Ooh. Wait for me. Yeah, she pulled that off in one shot. Oh, does Diego have a stutter? Don't move. Don't move. You did it. I'm so proud of you. Looks like positive force in his life. Don't blame me for trying. You never know. <sighs> for that shit. That would send me out to the insane. We just throw up. This guy has no frame. I just got the gun out. I guess cool thing, not all the other characters have already. Otherwise, Connellis was massive, but it's pro this was shit. <laughs> oh, it's got a nice view. I didn't really feel like a superhero up there, but those few moments when my whole world was going, I felt like maybe I was meant to be there. I managed to dodge all those bullets. Oh. Dumbass. 
Mum's definitely gonna get shot. No, is this guy a tank or something? Who the hell are these guys? Why are you talking at a time like this? Who are these people? I don't know. But at least we know who owns the shoe. You're welcome. I was doing fine. Oh, yeah, you really had the. Oh, you ever heard about Rope of Why are we arguing at that point? You had him on the floor, you idiot. Get out of here now. Go. I guess spot on to keep the villains around. I'm going after them. I don't forget Kaiser's just fucking doing his own thing. Looks that Kaiser's got looks that have a hundred, I swear. Think you want to rumor this psycho? I don't need to because this bitch just pissed me off. Why don't you go and run and grab a gun? We just want the boy. Oh, well in that case. We just want the boy, but come in guns blazing. Okay. Oh, that slow mo was cheesy. Fucking hell. How does he not beat him? He's not very good for super strength, is he? There we go. Now, how does he keep letting the guard down? Oh, I just got suplexed. Wrecked. Ugh. Ugh. I think she's uh, malfunctioning. Oh, I don't like that. Is he just going with shutting her off or something? Putting his mum down like that. Remember what we worked on. Just picture the word in your mind. It's gonna be okay. Mom. Oh, man just shut off. Brutal. Shouldn't you really discuss that with everyone? I guess he was waiting to sort of agree with it. What are you still doing here? You're not gonna tell everybody you just shut down the mum. No, you could have been killed. Or gotten any of us killed. She is a liar. <laughs> I love how you just take it out of here. Why does everyone just take it out? <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of it, but fuck it out. I think what he's trying to say is that this kind of stuff is dangerous. Then you're not special. You're just not like you. She was technically just chilling at the house. She didn't not expect for a villain just to be there. there Why did they just try to throw blame, blame on her in that situation? Yeah, whatever. Like, no one expected the whole place to be shot, let's be honest. Mini King Kong over it. Oh. I guess the reason she's probably getting so attached to the guys, like she's uh, like Alison said, she don't get she don't open up to people. I guess if this is the first one she's opened up to. As much trying to get as much worth. Oh, no, do not. I can't believe he's too black, that guy. Where the hell were you? When you're in there. Uh, maybe I take my worst out about his looks. <laughs> uh, I put a glass. I'm just trying to enjoy his music. I thought he was fucking missing. 
I love how no one looked for him either. Yeah, we got a bit more of um, Diego showing a bit of emotion, taking out Mum, and then obviously taking out Vanya. It seems Vanya is everyone's punching bags. Obviously, what what she did with the books, as we found out a bit more, I find the books a horrible thing to do to people. Because when you write a book, you're writing it from your point of view and your story, but you're not writing it from the other characters. But yeah, there's always another side to the story when you ask other people's point of views and like to write a book. You just meet thousands of people who weren't, depending on how old books I was like, know about their lives and judge them that lot from like, but not get anyone else's point of view but yours. Um, and to do behind the back, so I can see why people are so iffy towards within their family. Um, but yeah, no, they do use it as a punchy bag when they're upset. It's like they, like that. She was just showing up at the house that they made her go to to see to talk about mum. Yeah, they have a go at her for being there because she's a liability. That was your you're the one who invited her there. So yeah, that argument made no sense. And I should have really tried a bit more after, especially throwing all the shade at her the previous episode. Um, other than that, Luther with transformation. I'm guessing the whole hype thing was is like sort of using half his power and not the other half at the same time. I guess like he's uh, bending in with it um, other than that yeah it was a bit of a slower one not too much plot development obviously no to be fair we've got quite a bit like they've, they've, they've moved on the umbrella they know about number five's identity um, and now they've got Klaus which is interesting what they're going to do with him and yeah other than that it was a pretty decent episode uh, I'm enjoying it it's good. it's a good show there's a lot going on and there's still a lot of questions like how much shit did five go through and what's happened between everyone and the dad, and then obviously now I'm being taken out. Yeah, what would you? What do you guys think about AI? It was programmed by someone you're not too fond of. Is it your mum, or is it just the perfect being that the person programmed it to be, or could it learn? That is an interesting concept they tried to touch with the episode. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully, I see you next week. Peace.